Hi, my name is Dr. Yuri Burstyn. I'm a veterinarian in Vancouver, BC, and I'd like to welcome you to my series of practical skills for pet owners. Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about cat names. More specifically, about what sounds make for a good cat name. And Lancelot here is, is mostly for company. And I'm going to say that Lancelot is not an ideal cat name. Now, he earned this name by, uh, by being very noble and, uh, and trying to defend our staff <laughs> on occasion. Uh, that's a whole different story. But he's a very noble cat. Look at that regal bearing. Very handsome. Regal. Yes. But Lancelot is not the ideal cat name. Why? It's because of these ears. Now, a cat's ears are tuned to hear high-pitched sounds. They're placed fairly close together on the head, and cats have evolved to hear high-pitched sounds much better than low-pitched sounds because most of their prey animals, rodents, birds, uh, all communicate in a very high frequency, stuff that humans can't hear. So cats hear high frequency sounds much better than low frequency sounds. And a study was done several years ago to show that cats respond to their name much better if the name terminates in a high pitch sound. So for example, Lancelot ends on a low sound. He's much less likely to respond than that than if we call him Lancy. Because Lancy, Lancy is a high pitch sound. And He's, much, he's going to hear it much more clearly and respond to it much more regularly than a low pitch sound like Lancelot. And this is true of any cat name. And I think a lot of cat owners do this instinctively. You'll find a lot of people, you know, they have a cat named, um, you know, Fluffy. They'll say, Fluffy, Fluffy. And notice Lancelot responds to Fluffy just as well as Lancy because it's a high pitch sound that catches his attention. So how can you use that? Um, you can name your cat whatever you like, but if you want to get their attention, uh, you can pronounce that name with an up pitch. Um, when I talk to Mr. Pirate, I go, Piratey! You'll forgive my high pitch voice. Uh, when I talk to Claudia, now Claudia's a tough one. I love Claudia, but I did not pick a very uh, sound intense, sound appropriate name for her. It's hard to end on a high pitch sound, but honestly, Claudia comes to me anyways, whether I want it or not, so that's not a big concern for me. But that's just something to think about when you're trying to communicate with your cat. And another place where this might come in useful is if you're trying to get your cat's attention from across the room, maybe you're trying to take photographs, maybe you want your cat to stop doing whatever it's doing and pay attention to you. One strategy would be to make a high-pitched sound. Say anything, something that ends on an e. high-pitched squeaky sound. They're much more likely to turn around and look at you if you produce that sound. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Feel free to share this video with your friends. And if you want to support our good work, please check out our web store. We have some adorable Squish the Cat merchandise there for you. Please give it a look. And once more, thank you very much for watching my videos.